Hello everyone, this is Samya Sri. I am going to deal the subject of Computer Fundamentals in Photoshop for degree first year BCom and BSc students. Today our topic is Memories. What is meant by Memory and what are the classification of Memories? First of all, we go through what is meant by a memory. A memory is an internal storage area in the computer which is used to store data and programs either temporarily or permanently. Computer memories are classified into three categories. Those are primary memory, secondary memory and cache memory. So, the first one is primary memory. Primary memory is also called main memory or internal memory. Primary memory is directly accessed by the CPU. Any data operated by CPU is stored in primary memory. The storage capacity of the primary memory is low. But cost and speed is very high when compared to other memories. So, the primary memory has to be classified into two types. Those are random access memory that is RAM memory and read only memory that is ROM. The RAM memory is also known it as volatile memory and ROM memory is also known it as non-volatile memory. So these are also be classified under uh, categories. So first of all we go through for RAM memory. RAM stands for random access memory. We can store, read, modify and delete the data from RAM chip. So it is called read and write memory. RAM is also called short term memory or volatile memory or temporary memory because when the power is goes off, it lost their information. So, the RAM memory can be classified into two types. One is SRAM and DRAM. SRAM, S means static random access memory. And DRAM, D means dynamic RAM, dynamic random access memory. So, while coming into the point of SRAM, the information stored in the SRAM is not refreshed. It remains as long as supply is provided. SRAM is faster and more reliable than DRAM. Then we can go for DRAM. DRAM stands for dynamic RAM. The information stored in the DRAM will be refreshed after every few milliseconds. DRAM has higher storage capacity than SRAM. So, then we can go for ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. ROM is also called as permanent memory or non-volatile memory because ROM chip holds always same data. Non-volatile means when the power is lost, the data will be same. The data does not change in any way. The information stored in the ROM is for only reading purpose. ROM performs the necessary BIOS. BIOS means basic input output system functions to start the system. So, the ROM will be classified into three categories. They are PROM, EPROM and EEPROM. PROM means programmable read only memory and EEPROM means erasable programmable read only memory and EEPROM means electrically erasable programmable read only memory memory. While coming into the point of PROM, PROM stands for programmable read only memory. PROM is supplied in blank. The user write the program into the it only once by special process. And the coming into the point of EEPROM means erasable PROM. The contents of EEPROM can be erased and reprogrammed by shining of ultraviolet light for a few seconds. Then while coming into the point of EEPROM means this stands for electrically erasable PROM. These kinds of PROM are easily programmable by applying of a small electrical voltage. So this is the information about primary memory. Then we can go for secondary memory. Secondary storage devices are also called as auxiliary storage devices. These memories are used to store data permanently.
secondary storage devices hold data even computer is switch off these memories are cheaper and high storage capacity than primary memories various types of secondary storage devices are having those are magnetic tape floppy disk hard disk optical device and usb flash drives and memory cards and mass storage device first one is magnetic tape magnetic tape are available in the form of cassettes and reels cartridges data from the magnetic tape can be accessed sequentially the data in the magnetic tape is stored in the form of records these memories are cheap compact in size light in weight can store large amount of data and use less power these are much slower and easier damage to heat dust and mishandling then we can go for floppy disk the floppy disk made by a flexible plastic which is coated with magnetic oxide the magnetic disk is enclosed within a plastic layer called cartridge floppy disks are inexpensive but slow and limited storage capacity data can be lost if the disk is bended or removed while in use memory capacity of the floppy disk is 1.44 mb then we can go for hard disk hard disk is a set of magnetic disk stacked together each disk required to read or write hex one for each side the data is stored on the surface of disk in sectors or tracks the data from the hard disk can be accessed randomly or directly hard disk are larger in size and heavier in weight then we can go for optical drives the optical drives are the latest technology devices that use it to store information using light sensors called lasers optical drives are most widely used in reliable storage devices the popular optical storage devices are cd rom dvd rom cd recordable cd rewritable the first one is cd rom A CD-ROM can store large amount of data permanently. Once the data is stored in CD-ROM, it cannot be changed. The storage capacity of the CD-ROM is 700 MB. CDs are easily portable and transfer the data from one computer to another. Then DVD-ROM. DVD-ROM is similar to CD-ROM, but it stores large amount of data. A standard DVD can store seven times more than the CD because of its multi-layer storage technique. The storage capacity of DVD RAM is for 4.7 GB to 17 GB. Then we can go for CD-R that means recordable. It is blank disk that can be used by the user to store information. The process of writing data on the optical disk called burning once the data is stored on cd or it cannot be changed they are more expensive than cd rom drives then we can go for cd rewritable cd rewritable is an erasable optical disk the user can write and overwrite the data on cd rewritable in multiple times The CD rewritable drive is expensive than CD recordable drive. Then we can go for USB flash drives. USB flash drive removable, rewritable and or physically much smaller drives. The data of the flash drives will not damage due to the scratches and dust. These are robust, portable and high storage capacity drives. No need to install device drivers for using flash drive. Then memory. Memory card is a small device that can store digital files. They are easily portable, smaller and require less power. It requires less power having high storage capacity and faster access of data. Mass storage device. 
mass storage refers to storing enormous amounts of data in a permanent manner. Mass storage devices can store up to several tri trillion bytes of data having high data storage capacity or easily portable and having low power consumption. Commonly used devices are disk array, automated tape library, CD-ROM, joke box. Then the last one is cache memory. Cache memory is an intermediate storage between the processor, registers and RAM. Stores frequently used instructions and data. It is small and faster memory which improves the overall system speed. There are three types of cache memory. Level 1 cache, level 2 cache and level 3 cache. So this is the detailed information about memories and the classification of memories. Thank you so much for watching.